People undervalue the importance of accessories. They are what transform a dress. I love simple dresses and crazy accessories, said Yves Saint Laurent. For him, the perfection of an outfit depended as much on the clothes than the accessories rendering it sublime. Nevertheless, Yves Saint Laurent did not design any. He called upon artisans, shoemakers and artists, to bring his ideas to life. The key date was 1972, when the dressmaker's close friend Lulu de la Falaise became the house's official jewelry designer. Along with Betty Catru, de la Falaise was one of Yves Saint Laurent's closest friends. Born in England in 1948, she was the daughter of a French aristocrat and an Anglo-Irish mother. She spent some time as a model, before going on to design fabrics for Holston, and working for the magazine Queen. When they met in 1968, Saint Laurent was immediately charmed by this bubbly young woman, who dressed in flea market finds, coming up with outfits, that were both elegant and unique. Lulu began working at the studio as early as 1972, and remained at Saint Laurent's side for 30 years. She was quickly put in charge of accessories, which she liked to be colorful and voluminous. She also handled the knitwear line. After the Haute Couture house closed in 2002, Lulu continued to work in fashion and opened a boutique under her own name. Other than her undeniable professional qualities, Lulu de la Falaise's real talent was her charm, particular, moving. It was the strange power of a gift for lightness blended, with irreproachable acuity and her eye for fashion. Intuitive, innate, particular, her presence at my side, was a dream, said Yves Saint Laurent.